Game Builder Studio. Okay, today I'm going to cover utilizing vector Swift assets inside of Game Builder Studio. One of the easiest ways to achieve um, resolution independent scaling across devices and resolutions is to utilize Swift assets. And if you don't have a ton of assets in your game to where it eats up a lot of graphics memory, you can get away with utilizing Swift vector assets um, that are rasterized at runtime behind the scenes by Game Builder Studio. So if you look here inside of, uh, I'm inside of Flash Professional, and I have a, a uh, vector asset right here that's a symbol on the stage. And it's very simple to get assets outside of, out of uh, exported out of Flash. You just go to the properties, you select export for action script, you give it a name and make sure that the, the base class is movie clip. And when you publish this or compile this, this Swift, this class or this symbol will be available to you in Game Builder Studio um, to use in your game. So let me now switch over. Now if I go and open up my assets folder and, and import that Swift asset, now I have a Swift in my assets tab there and I can just drag and drop it into Game Builder Studio. Now you'll notice as I scale this asset, it's it's not losing any quality at all because this is a vector asset that can be scaled up and down regardless of, of its original resolution. And that's what you want. Now, you can also import animations from, from Flash Professional as well. I have a little dog animation here. And this animation is also exported as a movie clip where I go to properties, give it a, a, uh, a name. This actually should be here, call it dog walk. And just, I can export that. And if I jump over to Game Builder Studio and import that asset that I've already exported, I can drag this asset onto the scene and Game Boy Studio will create a Swift sprite sheet for it to where you can cycle through the frames. And you'll notice that the, the, the registration point or the center of the animation is maintained across each frame that's rasterized from the movie clip. Now, if you want to scale an anim a Swift animation, you have to actually change the scale on the sprite sheet because this is the original source of of the Swift asset and there you'll lose no quality if you actually if you stretch it by hand you'll actually notice that you'll have some quality loss if you do it that way if I stretch this guy up you'll start to see that it's pretty pixelated so just remember for vector Swifts that are uh, that have multiple frames change the scale on the actual uh, sprite sheet uh, the Swift sprite sheet and for just single frame assets, you can change it directly on the, on the Swift uh, renderer.